everyone, the Blue Lover Channel here with my review of the Megstar and Jason Statham and the giant Megalodon shark. So let's talk about this film. It has, I think, every shark movie known to man in this film. It had three writers. It has a $150 million budget. It has Jason Statham being himself, Rain Wilson playing a billionaire playboy. This film at times was exciting, especially when they're fighting the shark or they're having their moments. The film does not have great character development. It does have corny jokes. It has a rushed romance. It does have sort of a Jaws feel, Deep Blue Sea, since it's being released by Warner Brothers, which released Deep Blue Sea, which I enjoy Deep Blue Sea. It's actually one of my guilty pleasures. And it sort of just has some things here and there that will entertain you. But the story is about a group of people who work at sort of an aqu underground aquarium. Same thing as if you saw Deep Blue Sea. This one takes a lot of the story from that. It's a regular day, a little girl, as you see in the trailer, is out looking through outside glass. A big Megalodon shark just takes a big bite of the glass. Didn't penetrate it. And then that's when they find out in the trailer when you hear Jason Statham says, it's a Megalodon. And then you hear Rain Wilson with his corny jokes. And they end up teaming up together to take out this shark that's going to attack everybody like you see in the trailer. Everybody at the beach. And let me tell you, the shark action sequences were great. They do have dumb moments. But to me, this film was doing what other films don't do. They're giving you what you want. Giant shark movie with entertaining action sequences to blow your mind, to entertain you for about an hour and a half to two hours. And this film did that. It didn't have great character development. I mean, we found out that Jason Statham's character was a diver. He was divorced. He's an alcoholic. That's it. They're rushing a romance between him and one of the female leads in the film, which doesn't really go anywhere. Ruby Rose is in the film, which is great. She has a great presence and a great attitude, and she's awesome in the film. Rain Wilson plays, like I said, a billionaire, you know, who's funding this, you know, expedition to go after the shark and take him out. Even though these movies are based on books and, you know, John Turtletab directed the film, I Like Phenomenon, Treasure Wanted to are okay. Good work, what he had to do in this film. I mean, it's not great work. I don't think he's a great visual director. I think he should just stick to smaller films. Jokes were corny. I had three writers, so I guess all three of these writers stole from every other shark movie known to man. And it was just okay. It wasn't a great film. I mean, if you want to see it, it'll probably be a surprise hit. I know my review is going here and there. It's because I can't really describe the film as a great entertaining shark film. It does steal from Jaws and Deep Blue Sea. And it does not add a lot of dramatic scenes. It doesn't, like, fill your head with a lot of exposition. It just gets you straight into what the film is. It is like them out there hunting this shark, like in Jaws. And the third act is just all action, all shark fun and entertainment. The visual effects are great. Times where you can tell that some of it weren't done. The water scenes are great. Underwater sequences really shot underwater to blend in with the CGI shark, which was great. So I give the film credit for that. They were trying hard. Especially since you have a $150 million budget. This film is going to play great overseas. So it probably makes back that budget 10 times. Jason Statham's playing himself. Ray Wilson's playing himself. Ruby Rose. Everybody here just technically were just having fun. But they really weren't like characters that you were going to remember. They weren't fully developed. They start off the film. Attacked by a giant shark. Middle of the film. Go exposition. Learn about the shark. How you're going to kill it. How some people are going to die doing stupid mistakes, corny jokes, end of the film, entertainment, a lot of shark action, Jason Statham one-on-one -on -one versus a shark, which awesome. And that's about it. This movie was just everywhere. And it just, it, it was trying to be funny at parts where the jokes didn't hit. The action sequences were good. Underwater sequences were great. The acting was not incredible. Everybody here was really not memorable. Jason Statham is Jason Statham. And the shark was not, you know, like, wow at times. It didn't have the wow factor. And I think because you make so many shark movies and you have Sharknado and Jaws and Deep Blue Sea, 
The Shallows and any other film based on a shark. It, I think after the, the shark luster and scare is over. And this film was trying to be a comedy, an action movie, a horror film, and a science fiction movie. And trying to explain how the hell the Megalodon got to this size. And I enjoyed it okay. More of a rental or a red box pickup. Would you spend your money to see the film? It's your decision. Um, I got to see it for free, but I'm not going to see it again. Maybe just, like I said, maybe rent it on pay-per-view on demand. I give the film a two and a half stars out of five. It was okay. Not a great film. Screenwriters couldn't even make a good film. They had to steal from other films. The direction was okay. The acting was just blah. An okay film for $150 million. Alright guys, leave me a comment. I don't know what you think about this review. Are you going to see the Meg this weekend? Or are you just going to wait until it hits on television? Give the video a thumbs up. Give me to 1,000 subscribers in 2018. I'm already at 835. I'm trying to get to that magic number of 1,000. Hit my post notifications bell. Once you hit my bell, you will get all my new videos uploaded to your inboxes. Please hit the notifications bell so like that you know that a new video has hit. Because sometimes YouTube forgets or does not even give you alerts. The video has been uploaded to your um, channel boxes. I am the Blue Lover channel and I catch all of you guys next time.